Hey guys, what's up? This video is about managing your Gmail. My dad told me the other day that his Gmail is full, that it notified him that he can't get any more emails because his inbox is full. Uh, that's a little bit extreme. I know Gmail does a very good job um, managing a junk email, all the spam and all those marketing stuff that you get. But if you don't look at it ever, and if you don't delete and unsubs unsubscribe ever, it can get full. I didn't know that. Your inbox can get full, that you can't receive any email after that. So I took this opportunity to clear up my email and show you how I did it. So here's how I did it. So let's get the basics out of the way. Uh, Google gives you 15 gigs of storage. So this storage is on Google servers, like I've been saying in all of these videos before. Um, Google gives you 15 gigs of storage, and this storage is for your Google Drive for your Gmail and for your photos. All of your contacts, Google Keep and Calendar and all that kind of stuff, phone stuff uh, is in your Gmail. So when you say your Gmail is full, it also means that the, this data is in your Gmail. When your Gmail is full, you can't add these things either. I mean, no more Google Keep posts, uh, no more contacts backed up on Google, none of that stuff. So it's essential that you delete this stuff. Uh, you can just go the easy way and buy more storage. It's not that expensive. But I think 15 gigs is already a lot of storage just for your email and... The ambulance goes by this place every single... But welcome to my new place. I moved into this... Anyway, what was I saying? Um, I want you to show Google what is not important to you and then they'll keep doing it after that. It's a little bit of discipline and it takes a little bit of time, but it's rewarding because then everything starts working again. Already you can see that my email is taking a lot of space and uh, the sad part is most of those emails are not even important to me. I could have just clicked each of these emails that I don't want and then hit delete but that's gonna take forever. So just so that you understand what I'm talking about, let me just define some terms over here. Alright, uh, if you can see all this junk like in my window, then get priority inbox. How do you do that? It's simple. Look for that gear, then hit settings and look for the inbox tab. Once there, under the inbox type, choose priority inbox, then hit save changes. Now your email is classified under four categories, primary, social, promotions, and updates. There are a thousand emails over here that are not important to me. So all you need to do is find the top senders that are not important to me, and then just search for all the emails by these guys and select all and delete. That's far easier. To find these most popular sen senders, Google has this really nifty trick. All you need to do is Hit that gear again that we just spoke about, then hit configure inbox. Now when you hover each category, you can see the most frequent senders in your inbox. Now, note down the senders that, that don't matter to you. For example, I'll pick dollar vigilante. I accidentally must have clicked that somewhere and he keeps sending me emails that, that I never read. Now just type in that sender and once you have the entire list, hit select all and wait, hang on, before you hit delete, if you don't wanna see emails from these guys ever again, then hit this exclamation mark. This exclamation mark is to unsubscribe from these guys and also to mark them as spam. That way, Google knows that this is not important to you. So make sure you do this only when you're sure you don't want any emails from these guys. For example, if it's a travel agent that sends you emails, but for me, it used to be IRCTC when I was back in India, and over here, it's SNCF. So if they're sending you stuff, don't, don't do this. You can just select all and delete. When you're done with top 10 senders like this, go back to your inbox and check the status now. This number is the number of unread messages that Google thinks is important to you. Priority inbox, remember? This is the total number of emails you have. If the number is 13,000 or something, you're in trouble. Okay, that should solve the problem for now, but if it still didn't, then let's go to level two to clean more stuff. Next to your inbox here, to the left, hit the down arrow and choose unread first. Now you'll get all those emails you've never read. Same rule as before, find the most common by judgment, uh, search for those emails in the search bar, select all and delete. Or if they're really unimportant to you, then report spam. This whole exercise should take you a maximum of an hour, but if you just take the time to do this, then your email is clean and you have all of that storage to use the good stuff. So remember I spoke to you about priority inbox a short while ago? Well, if you get priority inbox, then Google will show you only the important emails in your inbox and all of these Marketing emails will be in your inbox, but you won't even notice them. So after you get your priority inbox, make sure to check your unread messages in your regular inbox as well. If that's going up, the, the number which I showed you earlier, if that's going up, then you've got to clear that up. 
priority inbox is awesome because it shows you only the important stuff to you despite having like a list of junk but it's important that you learn to clean it as well now to nip this at the bud next time you're on a website and they ask you for your email address and you really want to use that service or read that post somewhere and they're asking you for an email don't give them your email address either make a secondary email address or just google 10 minute email what this does is it creates an email address that you can copy and paste to that service and if that service sends you a verification link even that link pops up in this 10 minute window box you get that email you click that link your service works but your email is free that's a nice way to go i hope that was helpful guys i hope that your inbox never gets filled up but in case it does now you know how to tackle that take care and keep learning <laughs>